um, you may simply not have enough of the right nutrients to get into the mitochondria and B vitamins are particularly vital. <laughs> it's not the only vitamin that you need or nutrient, but um, they are um, crucial. And um, that's all the Bs really, B1, 2, 3, 5, 7, that's biotin, and 12. And there can be methylation issues that stop those from, you know, stop that uh, wheel from being able to turn as it should. But could you just turn to the next page, please, Brigitte? Because um, B1 is particularly important. That's thiamine. You actually can't make mitochondrial energy without it. And I know this picture looks complicated. Um, there is a, a, a very, very brilliant um, couple of doctors who've recently written a book about um, thiamine deficiency and the huge importance of it for energy production. One of them is called Chandler Mars, and then um, I think Dr. Lonsdale together with her. And um, it's uh, something that hopefully will summarize and perhaps even have them to speak at a future. And what's important is that this entry gateway into this all important little cycle that produces the energy in our mitochondria can get blocked. And one of the, um, it's called the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. And that is dependent on thiamine, that's B1. And so if that's blocked, then your lactate will go up. And there are many, many things that can block pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. You can see some of them here. One of them is the B1 deficiency, but because B1 is dependent on manganese, it can be, sorry, magnesium, it can be because you're not getting enough magnesium. Hyperglycemia can do this, of course. Insulin um, intolerance, you know, when you're uh, unable to actually uh, activate your insulin and to take in your um, glucose into the cells, the wrong kind of diet, tobacco, and of course, very importantly, most pharmaceuticals will have an effect on that. And we have an entire list of them that we could give you. Um, and of course, unfortunately, antibiotics. Of course, there are certain antibiotics that just should be avoided um, at almost any cost, like the fluoroquinolones, so profloxacin. Though again, sometimes doctors say they're needed and there's nothing else that will work. And then there's um, heavy metals, which I have mentioned, particularly arsenic, mercury, and aluminium will block this um, PDC, the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. So the cell danger response, and I saw there was a question in the Q&A about that too, we'll simply need another session on that, I think, because um, it's much too big a, a, a topic but that can switch the activity of the mitochondria to a so-called protective response where they're not using the oxygen, they're pushing the oxygen into the cytosol to um, conduct this battle, you know, this fight against pathogens or heavy metals or contaminants in there that need to be eliminated. So a wonderful article by um, Professor Navio is, um, referenced at the bottom of this page, as well as a summary of it that I've made that is easily accessible. Mm -hmm.